Welcome to Spinelli Speaks. I am super excited. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I am starting a vlog for um, the next book that I'm going to read. I'm actually reading this with a group of other uh, booktubers, so I'll link all of their channels below. I do apologize about my voice. I just got home from work and um, it's about a 25 minute drive <clears throat> and I totally belted heart like the entire way like maybe just two songs but over and over again because I just was like in a total sing-song kind of uh, mood but um, the book that I'm going to be vlogging is The Secret Garden. Um, this is going to go along with um, the middle grade March that is going on this month um, and then if you are reading The Secret Garden make sure that you are following along with the hashtag March into the Secret Garden. Um, so I'm going to do a pretty slow read on this. Um, it's not that big and it's um, I guess a pretty easy read from what I understand um, but I'm going to try to do like two chapters at a time um, to keep up with my group. We're not really choosing any particular pace, um, but for me, I would like to kind of take it um, easy so I can really um, absorb what I'm reading and be able to really um, contribute to the group um, based on what I have read. So that's where I'm going to start. If you're new here, I hope that you stick around and hit that subscribe button. I hope you um, like and comment on the videos as well and make sure you hit that notification bell. Um, but again, I'm going to be reading The Secret Garden and uh, today is March 2nd. So I'm going to start with the first two chapters. Hey guys, it is March 3rd and um, I read a little bit of The Secret Garden last night and I said that I wanted to do this like two chapters at a time but when I started to read I didn't realize that some of the chapters are quite short so I ended up actually reading um, about four chapters last night and um, in reading it I had originally thought that I had read this before but I must have gotten it confused with a different book and I don't know what that book might have been, but um, I definitely have not read this. So it was really interesting to be able to jump in and it all be super fresh and new. Um, I've only then seen the movie version and I think that was like the 90s movie version. And um, so the first four chapters you find out a little bit about Mary Lennox who is um, basically orphaned uh, because her parents um, die of cholera. They live in India um, in the time of cholera. If you've heard of that book, um, Love in the Time of Cholera. Um, very, very popular book. But um, so her parents die and she's kind of forgotten. It's really sad. Um, her, her existence is sad um, in the fact that her mother doesn't really want her. So she's kind of taken care of by servants. And no one really notices that she has been forgotten. The entire um, home is kind of deserted and when some soldiers come through to kind of sweep through the estate, they kind of just find her there all by herself and um, it's so, it's so sad. Um, but anywho, so she then gets, uh, taken to live with her uncle in England. And that's kind of where I'm up to. She's just met, um, a, like a, a housemaid kind of girl who's a little bit older than her. And I really love her. Her name is Martha. She's kind of a spitfire. She's a no-nonsense kind of girl and um, kind of puts Mary in her place. Mary comes from a very privileged background. So she's treating um, Martha kind of like lower class, um, similar to how she kind of saw things in India as far as, you know, they're being servants and then um, her kind of being taken care of. I mean, all the way to the point where she doesn't even dress herself. So it's very interesting. You can tell she's a very disagreeable child. She's very um, kind of, how would you say, like mean, mean-spirited, I guess. Um, but it's a 
direct correlation with how she grew up. So she was kind of, you know, t kind of s thrown to the side and not really considered very much. So that would do something to you. I mean, if I was neglected, I, I feel like I'd probably be pretty mean as well. Um, but then um, closing in on chapter five, she kind of ventures outside and, and sees a robin and she talks to the gardener a little bit. And you can see that things are kind of changing within her. She's starting to feel things and I think it's going to turn up for her. So um, I'm going to read some more tonight and see how far I can get. I want to stay, um, I want to kind of read slowly so I can really appreciate it. So I don't know if that'll be two or four chapters, whatever it may be, but I'll let you know what I think. Hi guys, last time you saw me I was about to chapter 4 in A Secret Garden and today is March 8th, daylight savings time. That lost hour has really affected me today. I haven't got nearly as much as done as I have wanted to. Um, I'm downstairs right now in front of my children's bookshelf. Um, it has more of my middle grade books, so I've been collecting a few because I'm going to be doing a middle grade um, book tag video later today. So I want to come down here and grab a few books that I wanted to discuss. And while I'm doing that, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about Secret Garden and um, let you guys know where I'm at and what I'm thinking. So right now I'm about to chapter 14. Uh, so I've gotten through quite a few chapters. She's found the Secret Garden, which is just amazing. She's also... Um, made friends with Deacon, uh, the brother of Martha, and she's met Colin. Oh, here, I'm too low. I'm too low, too low, too low, too low. Um, she's met Colin now, and Colin is Mr. Craven's son, who is presumably ill. Um, and they have kind of talked a little bit and she has accidentally talked about the garden um but it is really unique and um I think because I'm here in Wisconsin and for some reason or another this year has decided to give us like a real season change um as I've been reading I've really been feeling the effects of the book because as the seasons have been changing in the book the seasons have been changing for us here in Wisconsin, so it's been really awesome to see that aspect and, like, feel it. Like, it's one thing to be in a book and be in that world and really, like, explore that world, but to have it be paralleled to your own is just, I mean, I've just been having a lot of fun reading it. Um, things have been coming out that I haven't quite expected um which is great i know that this was originally not meant for a, an audience of children i think it was written in, in a in like pieces for a magazine for a women's magazine um but i definitely see the value of it for children but i also as an adult see there's a lot of value as an adult so um wanted to quickly give you an update i hope i didn't give too many spoilers away um but at this point, Mary is making friends. Um, she's acknowledging that she's making friends. She's acknowledging that she likes people and she is recognizing that they like her too, which I think is so important because her existence, her upbringing was so bleak in the aspect that she just was unwanted. And for her to actually see that people are kind for the purpose of being kind as opposed to being paid to be kind or nurturing or whatever it may be I think is really remarkable for her and I'm excited to see how the rest of the book shakes out. The group that I've been reading with which I'll link in the description below as I've probably said before um, we've been having great discussions regarding the book and everyone's really been enjoying it. I think the biggest thing that we've kind of been noticing is just like how much Mary has been changing and how quickly uh, she's been changing, which we don't awfully, often see in adult style fiction. You know, usually the adult doesn't change until the very end of the book. Um, but she's really growing page to page, which is great. So um, I'm gonna leave you there. I have a lot of stuff to do. I hear my tea is just about done. So 
yeah i'm excited i hope you all are having a great day and enjoying the sunshine whoa so it's been a couple of days if not a full week since the last time i checked in for this vlog i today is the 18th and i have not checked in with you since like the weekend it's almost so it's almost been a week um coronavirus is all I can say. I have been super depressed about what's going on and just not having the energy to chat about things. So yeah, it's been really crazy. But you know, reading is one of those things that you're able to just jump into and really take your mind off of things. So in the secret garden, I believe I am up to chapter 20. And so far just really enjoying it still. Um, we've met Colin, um, Colin and Dickon have met and um, they haven't yet left the manor, but they have all kind of become friends now. Um, and we're kind of like on to a good a good path so I'm pretty much to the last bit of the book I guess the last maybe third I would say and I'm um, looking forward to seeing how it ends obviously with this being the first time I've ever read it though sp having seen the movie I kind of think I know where it's gonna go obviously movies and and books are a little bit different but um yeah man do we need some good books during this time I mean I hope that you guys are all out there um being well and you know staying home and um I hope that this hasn't affected you as as crazily as I've seen it for some um this is definitely going to affect a lot of people so I don't want to get into too much there because uh yeah, I, but anywho, yeah, so that's where I am so far. I will check in with you um, again when I get farther in. So, till next time. <laughs> okay, so I am back and I have finished The Secret Garden. Today is March 21st. Yes, March 21st. And I um, finished the rest of Secret Garden this morning. Uh, last time I talked to you, I was just at chapter 20. And so I, re I read the rest of the book and I feel like it changed a lot. I feel like as soon as Colin was brought into the garden, or maybe even just getting to know Colin more, I feel like the tone of the book changed. Like I wasn't feeling, this is going to sound so weird, but like I wasn't feeling joy anymore. I was being, I, I was starting to become more and more irritated with certain things that were happening. I feel like um, the children were very manipulative, um, more so on Colin's side. I feel like um, the lesser classes were treated extremely poorly considering sorry for the dogs barking especially considering the amount of kindness that had been coming from them like I was getting more and more irritated by certain actions that it kind of stole the charm away from the book and I don't want to give too much away because I do think overall it's a good book it's a it's a classic it's something that everyone you know should should take a gander at I mean overall up till chapter 20 I was very pleased I it was a very joyful book there was a few things that I was like no that's not right but overall I was like oh I'm really liking this I definitely because it was becoming spring in my reality the spring in in the book was really just moving me and then it just the the flame went out for me once I hit chapter 20 and I was getting farther and farther in and I just wanted it to be over so it kind of fizzled out at the end so I'm kind of bummed by that I think overall I would give this a three um three stars and yeah I loved it up until chapter 20 and then I was just like I don't want to read any more of this it's 
I'm kind of like, get over it, little spoiled boy, and yeah. So feel free to read it on your own. Um, I, I do believe it's still worth it. It's a classic. It's something that, you know, we should know of. Um, but overall for me, I was kind of disappointed at the end. Um, so yeah, I hope that you uh, try and make your own decisions on that. If you have any other opinions, please go ahead and comment below. I'd love to hear them. I um, love to interact with you all. So if you have a different opinion or a similar opinion as me, feel free to jump in the comments. Um, I do try to get back to everybody. And um, I hope you are all well. I hope you're staying safe. I know it's very unique times we are living in, but, um, you know, this too shall pass, as they say. Uh, so yeah, I hope you're all uh, well, reading something good, and you know how it goes. Happy reading, guys! Bye!